What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. And today we have a very different video from what I normally do here. This is going to be a video on how to make a Gemini Jets 1-400 scale custom gate apron for your model airports. And this is, um, I don't know if I'll continue this series because uh, this video's idea was a, uh, I was thinking in my head because five Fridays in March, I was thinking, so what can I do for a uh, fifth video here in uh, March? And I decided that we are going to be doing a um, video here on the, um, how to make a gate apron because you guys saw the Pensacola update. And I just want to say right now, thank you guys so much for all the support on that video. You guys loved it. It is doing so well. And it looked really good. All the feedback has been appreciated. Everybody's really like the design and how I've really did a great job with it. I'm glad my research paid off and uh, yeah I did all of the aprons for it with what I'm going to show you right here in this video so I thought that was really cool and then also I'm going to um, you know maybe I continue this series with how to make uh, Gemini Jets uh, 1 to 400 scale uh, tournaments for your airports or maybe taxiways, runways, etc. But this is just the beginning of what could be maybe a five, the fifth Friday video. Um, I do have a couple more ideas, like I've said numerous times, I just, uh, for the view's sake, even though that probably shouldn't matter, I've kind of held off on doing those. But before we get started, uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, also click the notification bell so you're always notified when I post a brand new video before we get started with today's video. so. For the most part, this is a 100% free apron to make. So I didn't really like the online ones, they were okay, but I've just decided to throw some paper out there and try some stuff and this is what I was able to come up with. This is not try, This is not really copied uh, by any means. This is just a straight up freestyle gate that I made or freestyle just went out there and uh, tried my designs and see how they worked. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what you need, so I'll leave more rambling for the end, of course. It may be a little bit shorter, like a 15-20 minute video, um, it just depends on how long this takes. But the things you'll definitely, and I mean for sure, will need, you'll need a pen or a pencil, number one. If you don't have one of these, that's very uh, crazy to say the least. So you're going to need a pen or a pencil. You're going to need some sort of yellow writing utensil. Um, I'm using a fine point sharpie marker. You could go get a um, a uh, yellow color pencil, a yellow crown if you have to improvise, but this is what I prefer for the outline. You are going to need a ruler right here. Or, sorry. You're going to need a ruler. Um, and I'll show you guys how to mark that up. You're going to need a piece of paper, unless you're doing it on the board or something like that, but you're going to need something to write it on, of course. And you're going to need a base model. So um, I prefer the 757 for this, but you can use anything you want. You could use a 737, you know, anything you really want here. Whatever works for you. So um, yeah, whatever. Uh, this is not a heavy gate tutorial. I have not tried one of those yet. This is simply a... Um, Simply a, a narrow gate uh, deal here, so narrow body gate, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, with all that being said, we're gonna get started real quick here, so. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is I wanna show you the markings on the rule you're gonna need. So there's gonna be, I believe, uh, let me make sure, it's either two or three, uh, here we go. Okay, so there is uh, two major markings that you're going to need. So one of them is, I hope I get this right, um, one of them is about an inch and nearly a half. It's right before the half. I will try to get the actual uh, insertment on the screen for you guys of where that is on the ruler, but it's the line right before an inch and a half and you're also going to need to mark the uh, one, the one right before the inch in a uh, three-fourths that line right before the really small one so yeah so you're gonna need those two marked and once you have those two marked we are ready to begin okay so I'm gonna try to make this work with the camera and stuff this may be a little different but sorry uh, okay so we're gonna try to get it like about right here 
Focus is good? Okay. So, I'm going to start. Oh, sorry. Uh, additional things that you can have if you uh, need them. So, I want to use tape here just so it doesn't move when I'm doing it. So, now I'm not going to use this gate actually. This is a uh, demo. So, it's very sturdy. If you mess up, wide out is perfect to fix it. It doesn't look great on this paper, but you know, it's better than having to redo it in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, there was a lot of white out on my Pensacola just because it was a, that was the first airport I ever did all in one segment before bringing it on YouTube. So by the way, the Tulsa airport, the new board has not been started. I've been, I'm not trying to use excuses, but my schedule has been a, a lot busier than it was. I'm going to try to get it worked on hopefully this weekend and very, very, very soon. So, yeah. Um, okay, so other things that you can't have. Um, if you're cutting up stuff, scissors is always good to have. And then this is what I've used that really brings it out. These are called paint pens now. These aren't the best ones in the world, but yellow and black to bring out the pen and the uh, Sharpie. These really help make your airports look better. For example, on the Albuquerque airport, the um, Albuquerque airport, those are all pen and Sharpie, but on the Pensacola update, they're all paint pinned over, so you can actually tell what's going on. So, enough of the talk. We're gonna get started right here. So, the first thing you do is um, you're gonna put your uh, aircraft right here, wherever you want it. So, um, I'm gonna just say right there in the middle. Why not? Uh, I'm gonna fix this camera here. Hopefully, the lighting's okay. I'm using a light kit here, so. Okay, there's another light that's going to help out here. I'm trying to get the position. There we go. Okay, never mind. Okay, so first things first, you're going to take your pen and you're going to mark where you're doing it. So, right there. Just so you have that uh, for later when you're doing lines. So, then you're going to take your ruler. Now, that first marking right before an inch and a half right here. I already marked it, but right before an inch and a half, that first line, you're going to take your ruler, place it, if you're using a 757, it may vary from aircraft to aircraft, I would say if you're doing a 737, definitely do a 737-900, and if you're doing a A321, definitely use a, uh, or definitely use A321 if you can, if you don't have a 757, but take it right before the engine here and put it about two inch lines, or two of these, not two inches, but two lines on the ruler before before the engine where the line is on your thing so I'm going to take this off show you guys exactly what I'm talking about so there we go about two lines before that first marker sorry guys I'm just trying to get this just trying to make sure you guys understand what's going on and you're going to draw it scrape uh, uh, scrape parallel with the aircraft from that line to scoot over a little bit or scoot the ruler over until it gets to the middle here so you can get in the middle of the engine try to get it as straight as possible and then go for it and my pen's not the best so I kind of have to do it a few times okay so once you do that it's even simpler take it at a 90 degree angle Put it back on that same marker and go across at a 90 degree angle like this, like so. Now it's okay if you hit the nose and drag it over a little bit, that's what the dot's for. Just put it straight back how it was. And then your final step is I'm actually going to come across the table here to do this because it's a little bit, some of these you're going to have to, you would like to move around on, I promise. So, the third thing you do here is you, uh, once again, line up with the line. And usually on this line specifically, I will start from that side again, just because it's a habit, but you can do it however you want, so. Perfect. Okay, so now when you're done with that, you're going to do the um, wing portions. So what you're gonna do now is once again, I'm going to try to get this to focus on the ruler again. 
you're going to go to the line before an inch and three fourths. This is the three fourths. This is where you go to. And you're going to line it up. This is the hardest part, and I mean, this is the most unrealistic part about what I do. You need to um, try to, um, this is an eyeball test. You have to really get it how you want it. If you like it more slanted, because I have numerous gates that some of them are slanted, some of them are more wide, and some of them are about right. If you want to, you could use a curved ruler to get a precise uh, marking on this. I don't do that because, um, well, I don't have one, but um, yeah, it, I just try to eyeball it the best I can. So I usually try to point it at about a 45 degree angle from the fuselage like that. So maybe a touch more. And I'm going to come from this side again. And like so. So I kind of missed right there, but it's okay. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Now for the other side, you're going to lift up the nose gear of the aircraft, slide it under so it doesn't, so you don't knock that off or anything like that. Make sure to get your angle because usually it's one side or the other that looks terrible compared to the other side. And like so. So this side side's not near as slanted as that side. That was my bad on that, but I still think it looks okay. Now you're back to the marking before an inch and a half, right there. You're gonna go straight down here. Once again, get straight. Mark it. And some of this right here, the paint pins, if you have them, will mark that up. You can also use Sharpies, they're very similar. So, just wanna let you guys know that, so. And then same thing for the other side, the marking before an inch and a half. And like so. Okay, so now you're done with the pen. So, um, yeah, there's your outline right there. Now, you're going to take your uh, fine point Sharpie or your color pencil, whatever you're using, and you're going to uh, work on the, uh, the uh, taxi line here. So, what I do, to, this is just a little base still. There's nothing specific here. Make sure it's straight. Perfect. Now you're going to scoot it over just a touch. And I usually go a few um, few feet beyond the, or not feet, but a few, maybe an inch beyond uh, where it ended with the wingspan dill. So I'm going to start right here. As you can tell, I <laughs> didn't get the mark because mine's kind of dried up from numerous gates. but. Just like that. And then you can also make sure the camera's still going good. You can also make your little box down here. So I usually freehand this, but you can do it however you want it. The paint pen will cover that up. Then you'll take your pen again, you'll write whatever gate. Example one. And then now this is another part where you may have to really try to eyeball it, but uh, it's about two on my ruler, so. You're going to take your fine point or whatever you're using and you're going to go straight up till you get to here or um, horizontal with the um, top part of your uh, apron here. So, And then don't go too far. You don't want to overshoot that and then, you know, this is kind of just connect the dots from there and freehand that. And now you're going to outline it by uh, doing the little lines here. On the uh, little, I don't know what they call this. Uh, it's like the little area where the gate is. So, just like so. Don't worry about the bleed. The uh, paint pen will take care of that. I would pref I would almost say use a color pencil if you're doing it with a um, with no paint pens, but. The color pencils aren't as bright, so that's why I use a fine point. And ladies and gentlemen, or, oh, not quite. So now I make four markings on mine to the left side, but you can make one across, you can do three, however you want it, but that's just simply what I do.
Now that I'm only free ending it because this isn't a gate I'm actually going to use. But that's a outline of a gate. So if you don't have the paint pens, you are complete. I think it looks really good. So, and then if you're going to use paint pens, I have a certain side of the ruler where, um, you know, the um, stupid, um, where it bleeds onto the side of the ruler. So take your paint pen and get after it. Hopefully it doesn't bleed onto my table, but if you see that in the DFW update, you know why. DFW's down again, by the way. I um, had to, excited to do the master plan for it, but we're currently in the process of making some major uh, moves on uh, real life stuff, which I'm very excited to announce hopefully soon. Now, definitely take your time on this. Definitely don't touch it. Just give it a few seconds before you go on to the next side because it will uh, bleed through. And the wide out doesn't look the best in the world. That's all I gotta say. Now, this is actual paint. So I made a mistake. So you guys will be getting to see the wide out. But so. Not everybody's perfect. This gate definitely isn't my best, but another mistake. Why not? So, yeah, there's an outline. All this stuff is kind of just uh, falling apart. So, I think my paint pen blood or something, as you can tell from my fingers, it's like, what the heck? Anyways, now take your yellow. Maybe a little bright. But, yeah, I got a yellow portion right here, so. Now the light really makes this hard to see, so. And then usually I just go with a ruler over that, but I'm just gonna go really precise. This paint pen also may be a little dead, so that's another reason. I had originally had Sharpie ones, but they like bled and all the uh, all the paint actually came out so but yeah guys now that's the official gate um, if you want to you could add uh, these hash marks down the side that's fine if you want that but um, yeah since I made my few mistakes I'm going to touch it up here with some whiteout or we'll actually probably go in for the thumbnail right here just because the whiteout looks so bad whoops Okay, hopefully that wasn't too distracting, but just wanted to get that. <laughs> uh, back on the tripod. Okay. Now then, take your white out. Make sure to get it on both sides because it will drip. And just start getting after your portions. Don't get too close or you will mess it up. Great. Kind of just spread it out if you get too much in one area. Now you see why I didn't want to put it on the thumbnail. This is optional, but I just thought it'd be a good idea. Yeah, as you can tell, I kind of messed up that because I padded it down, but just kind of get your areas where you um, messed up. Not all gates are going to be perfect. This is for free, a great way. Um, also, those windows on Pensacola, those are free as well. I can't, if I do a terminal video, those will be featured. I'll probably do one for Tulsa if I think about it. I didn't do how to make Pensacola. I just did not have the time for that airport. The DFW master plan, hopefully. Let's make sure there's nowhere else to touch up here. Nah, not bad. I kind of messed that up. But, yeah, I think that's about it. Kind of just make sure here, just... Finish off a few places. Okay, so that's your gate, and um, 
I would let it dry for a few seconds since uh, the, I used the whiteout, but I'm careful here. Looks really good. So, yeah. There's your gate. I think I did a great job on it. It wasn't perfect. The whiteout obviously will dry up, but um, yeah. Um, another gate is done. I'm not going to use that one, of course, but not. Um, you know, uh, life's not perfect, and not everything's going to be the best that it can be. And, uh, you know, for free, this is really good. Um, if you guys want more of this type of content, uh, more custom videos and things, make sure to leave a like on it and also subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're always notified when I post a brand new video. Um, please follow me on Instagram at Red River Aviation so you can get the best, uh, some of the best photography content, in my opinion out there for aviation big news um, I believe um, at some point here I will be making a um, a website uh, because I want to kind of intertwine my points whether it's through the Instagram the YouTube and now on to a website because I want everything to intertwine to where if you like this you can go get that from me or if you like this sort of content pictures you can go get that if you like video content you can go get that on YouTube I mean I want to outline it to where if you have an interest in uh, digital media aviation I produce it whatever it is whether it's Jim Nudgets 1 to 400 scale models uh, aviation photography trip reports um, flight simulator whatever it is I want to be able to entertain you somehow and if I can do that at the end of the day that really is what I'm here for not only as a general interest but also to really 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 make you guys be a content creator and entertain people that's just something that um, for example my parents really don't understand and why I can't go out and make a trip report every day and that's to an extent understandable with how unique my passion is and what I do here. But at the same time, it's just kind of tough when, you know, you have to sit here and um, this is all you can do really. But on the creative side of the models, we can, I do this all the time. The new Tulsa airport is in works. But yeah, once again, if you guys enjoy a different type of video like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you're always notified when I post a brand new video. Um, once again, the website, um, I have no clue when that's going to start. I know I've floated around doing it in the past, but I really feel like with the emergence of the YouTube channel here and also with the emergence of my Instagram in the last six months, I feel like this is really the next step. So you can really organize and whatever you want it, whatever kind of content you want to see, I can provide that with you for the uh, field of aviation. So. Uh, Next week will be an airport update, most likely Albuquerque. Um, I didn't do it this week because I'm not going to lie, it's not ready. It's not ready. It's very close. We're about halfway, not very, but it's halfway done. Um, and then uh, Tulsa, I'm really hoping I can finish it. It's, it's not even started, so it's kind of hard to say right now. I got to get that board cut and then kind of just go from there. It'll be prob It'll be really close if it's done or not. At least Pensacola debuted well. I don't know when the rolling portion will be started for that. Once again, guys, the summer's coming up fast. This is our first video for March, so happy March 1st to y'all. And once again, if you guys would like to keep watching videos, they will be on the screen for you very soon, whenever the end of the video comes. But um, And uh, you can also check out my current playlist, which is uh, Pensacola. I need to finish that off and get that in there. But Pensacola, Tulsa. Dallas, Fort Worth, Albuquerque, and the trip reports, I keep those in there because if you're a new viewer, that's a really good series uh, that will be resumed very soon. I'll say that. It'll be resumed in June or July for sure. So, all I got to say is thank you guys for making this possible, and I just really thank you guys for supporting me um, and just watching all the content and always liking and subscribing the Pensacola video went crazy and I really hope it keeps going up and hopefully this video too hopefully it's not a FSX uh, a FSX um, FSX uh, re 
another FSX uh, full flight uh, views wise. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Red River Aviation signing off.